As I continue to restore my car, I have a lot of aluminum parts on the car and things like that, and I knew I needed a buffer. So I picked this up at Harbor Freight. Uh, this is the first time I've ever purchased anything from Harbor Freight with a motor. I just kind of broke my own rule there. Um, I've always told myself that the motors blow up in these things pretty fast. In this case, uh, it was like $45 minus $9, which is 20%. Takes it down to 36. I kind of felt like I couldn't afford not to. Uh, that was a gamble I was willing to take. So anyways, um, I know from what I've read on these things, the, uh, the actual buffing wheels that come with them, the cloth wheels are crap. Uh, I will probably throw those away. Uh, to be honest with you, in the short term, what I really plan to use it with is a brass wire wheel. Um, I have a whole lot of metal parts that I'm cleaning up and I've been using a steel wire wheel. Uh, there are times I wish I had a brass one and I'm too lazy to change back and forth. So I'll probably mount that on one side and then eventually uh, a better um, wheel on the other side. But anyway, um, I'm gonna review this today and uh, hopefully I'll let you know what we get out of it. So after unboxing, I would say that the fit and finish is every bit as poor as you typically expect from Harbor Freight. Um, you know, the stickers are on crooked with bubbles and things like that. Um, I, I'm not too worked up over that. To be honest with you, it looks looks solid. Everything seems to seems to turn freely without a whole bunch of noise. So we'll see. Um, so anyway, this is the wire wheel I'm going to throw on it. It came with a uh, plastic spacer, and the uh, the unit itself has these aluminum spacers. So everything seems to fit relatively well. So I'm gonna mount that on there, and uh, obviously I'll put the, I forgot to put these on there. So anyway, I'll mount everything up, and then I'll probably turn it on just to see if it's, uh, if it's gonna wobble a bunch. Um, I will eventually end up mounting it to a bench. In the short term, I'm just gonna let it free, just to see if it's gonna run around the bench on me. Um, I kinda wanna know if it's completely out of balance. So we'll give her a shot. I decided to turn it on without anything mounted to it, just to see if it had any vibration to it. There is absolutely no vibration whatsoever. It's not moving at all, which is a good sign. So I think I'm going to take the next step and mount a wire wheel to it. Okay, I've got a wire wheel on it and I'm impressed. It is not wobbling at all. It's, uh, the machining appears solid. Uh, the nut on this side has um, reverse threads, which is uh, great. I, I'm going to tell you, for 36 bucks, I'm pretty happy. I love the long throat on the uh, on the axle there. That'll give me a lot of room to maneuver around, uh, especially when I'll, I'll probably mount it on the corner of the bench. So, so far, I tell you, Harbor Freight's uh, quality is improving by leaps and bounds. I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have done this several years ago, but keep getting, I don't know, reluctantly impressed, so. Okay, so I'm officially impressed. It works great. I threw, uh, I threw the, the brass wheel on it and um, had to trim off a couple of stray wires that were really, really long compared to the rest. But uh, overall, man, it is gonna work great. I cleaned off a pretty nasty bolt just out of uh, curiosity and, um, and that's gonna work fantastic. It has tons and tons of power. I could not slow down the motor uh, as I was cleaning down this bolt, even though I was really pressing on it. So that's exciting. Um, these things, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Uh, I'm not terribly impressed with the quality, but I don't know. I don't know necessarily what they should look like. Um, I'm really not quite at the stage of buffing quite yet. Um, I'm still cleaning up metal parts, a lot of metal parts. So I'll probably use it for uh, wire wheeling for quite a while, and then eventually I will get along to buffing. But I tell you, I think this thing is a bargain for 36 bucks or whatever you can get it for. And uh, even if I buy completely new uh, buffing wheels and some compounds, um, I still think it's it's an absolute steal. Uh, man, the quality of Harbor Freight stuff is, is definitely improving. So I definitely give this a thumbs up. So I hope this helps you. Uh, if it does, um, come back and, uh, and we'll continue the project.